All right, guys, here we are, Blade Show 2024. You know this gentleman, but for some of you that do not, there you go, Mr. Terrell Todd. Very cool. Yep, Thank you so much for uh, doing this with me, but we're going to take a look at some of the newer stuff that's come out and then some of the coming soons. Absolutely. Let's okay. Go. Let's, dude, let's start with, we got to start with the Nixie 3, don't we? Okay, Nixie 3 is one of my designs with Todd Knife and Tool. That's me and my brother, Todd Knife and Tool. And essentially what we've done here is we have taken the Nixie that you guys all know and shortened it up for those guys that need the smaller knife. It's 2.9 inches. And we gave it a couple of extras. This one is a flipper and it's got a hollow grind. So, Very nice. Uh, four different variations on this one and one of the cool things is the black one we got to go back to our bronze on the pocket clip oh, I like that and the bronze in the backspacer and we lightened up the backspacer compared to the original Nixie okay and make it a really light knife to carry take a quick people want to take a look all right absolutely now how do you say this next one well it's been called Kiki and <laughs> Kiki, I think, is the most correct. Okay. Okay. And this one was designed by Selena, our sales manager's daughter. That's pretty cool. She drew it up and did everything. And from what I understand, Ostap Hell helped her get the mechanics all straightened out to where it's working great. And it is not assisted. It nope. is simply straight a straight button. Straight button locks open, locks closed, and it's a single edge. So the other side is a false edge. So pretty neat little knife. And it's in 14C28N, I believe. It's down there. Um, let's see. Uh, sure looks like it. Yes, sir. Yes. And uh, we have it in Ultum and Aluminum. And that thing is just super cool. And it's going to be in a plethora of colors. Dude, it's got a, it's got a cool story behind it. That's pretty That's, neat. It is. That's pretty neat. Yeah. I mean, she, Selena's getting her kids. Uh, we've got one that her son designed down here too. Oh uh, really? Yeah, it's we'll, we'll get to it here. Okay, in a minute. okay, very cool. And, but uh, she's getting her kids into it and making some really neat stuff. And so these are out already? Yes, the Nexi 3 is out. I believe the Kiki is out as well. And now we're coming, we've got some up and comings. Yes. So we got the V-Core there. The V-Core is from Vulpex Designs. Really neat little fixed blade in 14Z28N. Uh, almost looks like something I would have designed, but he did a better job. <laughs> and uh, Nice, nice. We'll get a little info there. And then next we have the Bruv. Huh? The Bruv yeah, by Yeah, that Galvanic looks really Design. interesting. Uh, I don't know this guy, but it's almost a sway bag. Yeah. And uh, it's not quite a sheep. I mean, it's somewhere between a worn glyph and a sheep's foot. It's sheepish. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and But it's got that, what is now becoming, it's a front flipper. Okay. And yep. it's got what is becoming that trademark Best Tech action. And that's... Yeah. And that action follows through from Best Tech Man all the way through to the really expensive stuff. Yeah. It's great how they've done that. And we have it in Ultim as well. Right. And they've done a really neat thing here. They put a really thin steel frame inside that Ultim to put set the Ultim on top of. Okay. Okay. So it's still got a steel frame in it, but you've got the the nice feel of that Ultim on top of it. Sure, sure. There's a couple more. Let's see. We've got a Cetus there from Poltergeist Knife Works. Nice. The VK Void again. Let's, that's nice. Yeah, that's I mean, a nice one. These these are pretty interesting. Okay. Uh, now, I'm not good at front flipping this thing. You oh, guys know what kind of front flipper I make. I make sure you got enough torque to get it open. <laughs> but, yeah, these are cool little knives. And uh, a little different but in a good way. And they both, we've got a bigger version of this. Okay. They both have that little brass spot in there. Oh, yeah. And it's just there to be cool. Okay. There's there's no bonus to it or any function. It's just there because it's cool. You need a little flair every once in a while. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, this is one that really caught my eye, the Firebird. And that's Best Techman right there, yeah? Yeah. This is Best Tech Man, so it's going to be in the, uh, oh, it's actually in D2 this D2, time. D2, yep. Yep. And a button lock. And again, that Best Tech kind of trademark action now. It's just smooth as it can be. 
and a really nice blade shape for that inexpensive EDC knife. Absolutely. And their button locks are working really good. I haven't really taken one apart to look and see how it works on the inside yet. Sure. But uh, feels really good. And they've also got this one grilled to be left or right hand. Okay, excellent. Very and good. Got a good looking pocket clip on it too. I like the matte black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and we got a red blade going on here. Let's see, what do we, the cicada's wing? Yeah, cicada's wing. Okay. Got kind of a Warren Cliffish type, I don't know, sheep footy thing. <laughs> and we got a bar lock in this one. Nice. Well, whenever they, first day of the show, whenever Selena showed this one to me, what caught me was how thin it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's... It's and probably, what, three-eighths, maybe? It's less than a half. Ten millimeters, less than a half inch. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. My brain has a hard time uh, <laughs> dealing with anything but millimeters of right, that size. Right, right, right. I don't do fractions. That's hard. <laughs> uh, but they've got a red baked-on finish, and I'm not sure what it is. I've asked, and I've not got okay. exactly what it is. But it is baked on. You can tell from the... what. From the texture that's been left on the blade. Oh, okay, sure. That it's baked and not just a okay. uh, painted finish. Got it. But really nice. I'm I'm impressed with this one. Yeah, I kind of I definitely like the looks of that. I know. Does it have a MS? It does not have the price down there. No. But I'm no. guessing this one's going to be very affordable. And that's 10 CR. So that's not. Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. probably in that if somewhere between 40 and 70 dollar range. Sure. So, sure. Uh, really nice. Got the Zento there. That's a nice looking one. Yeah, that's an O-Step Hell design. And just like all the O-Step knives, really simple and ergonomic, really clean blade. And that, we're going to say it several times, that just nice smooth action. Yeah. Absolutely. And he did put a little flare in the pocket clip. It's a little different. Oh, than wow, yeah. What a lot of the standard pocket clips are. Sure, yeah, and a little thin. A little thin thing. Yeah. Nice for office carry, especially. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We've got a couple a little more that, and obviously, that is an OSTAP Hell design. I mean, that just screams yeah. the Ivy. Yeah. Ivy. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely OSTAP. Oh, for sure. We've got some, if you get the light on that, we've got some really neat stuff going down the handle there. Oh, yeah, the texturing? Yeah. There it is, right there, yeah. Okay, good. And of course, it's kind of a hawk build, but not quite. <laughs> That's an O-Step thing. Oh, absolutely. Got to be just a little bit off, but <laughs> definitely ergonomic and get your hands on it good. That's nice. And that's uh, really nice from O-Step. And here's and the one by the Mantis. The Mantis, okay, yeah. we got to get a shot of that, okay. This is Lucas, Selena, our sales manager's son. Really? He's 12 years old. And no. Yes. Oh, dude. Okay, and what I was told is Lucas has some mantises as pets. Kind of a learning pet, I guess. Sure. And uh, he decided that he, he started drawing things and drew this out from his pets. There is mantises. And... It's light, neat little hawk bill would be a really good knife to stick in your uh, emergency pack if you're hiker, motorcyclist, that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. I mean, I, I keep a, a, a horn. I keep one of these in my uh, pack on my motorcycle. Okay. Because you never know whenever you're going to need to get rid of some clothes or whatever. I'm a gardener. Uh huh. Hawk bills make great pruners. Absolutely, sure. And that's that's where I'm. And that's got a nice. That's got some nice serrations on it too. It so they, that is one thing that they did do. I mean, get a, in there in those serrations. Yeah. They may look familiar to you. They're not, but they're close. Okay. Uh, for those that know what I'm talking about. Okay. That other brand that does really, really good <laughs> serrations. Oh, it's gonna run away on me. And then we've got. It doesn't want to stay there. No, that's all right. We'll just move it back. And now we got the swordfish, and that looks like we got a button lock swordfish. Yes, the swordfish has been updated, and uh, don't worry, the liner lock's not going away, but now we got a button lock. Okay. And uh, still got the tra kind of swordfish started this deal with the one piece, two color G10. Yeah, yeah. And uh, 
Still got that, still got that great blade on it, but moving to a button lock. Right on. Uh, and I believe it's still, does it say 14C28 in there? Absolutely does. Absolutely okay, does. so great, great entry level steel, or not even entry level, I like 14C28 in. Yeah, I do. I, I love it as far Another Ostap Hell design yeah, there with the Sambak. Samrak, Samak. This thing is off, it's an Asian plant, uh, flowering plant, and that, we've got this little, you can get the light, there we go. Oh, there it is, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Right there in the pivot, and then the nice inlay back over the top. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. And, of course, we've got... An O-Stap blade, no oh, yeah. recurve. Oh yeah. But the ergonomics as usual. O-Stap always freaking nails that. Right on. Okay. Very good. And oh, the serif. The serif. Oh my goodness. All right. So here's Kombu. Yeah. Greg. Yeah. And he just makes some interesting knives. These big circles here. There may be some surprises in the future over those big circles. Okay. I'm not going right. to talk too much on it right. now, but from what Greg tells me, there may be some surprises. A little something, season. something coming, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Okay, okay. That's good. But as always with uh, Kombu stuff, really nice lines. Oh, absolutely. The, yeah. The handle. Yep. Interesting. A little futuristic, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kombu. Yeah, yeah. And then we've got the and Navi. From that Volpex. Yeah, another one from Volpex, yeah. Yeah, Volpex Designs. And this is basically because customers wanted a bigger one. Okay. We still have a lot of the same design language here. Right. Yeah. And still got the little brass dot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And this one, front flipper in my as well. opinion, is better than the small one for front flippers. Okay. I like it. And you've got that... Yeah, a little sheepish drop, sheep yeah. thing, blade. <laughs> I don't know how to... I, I wish we'd stop trying to freaking name the blades. I mean, really? they are what they hmm. are. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you there. Yeah, they I'm are with you what there. they are. They cut yeah. things. Well, that's but, a nice looking one, too. And what, what do we got there? It's a titanium and magna cut. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and then, oh, we might know this one. Yep, that's another... The Spear Fisher. Another Todd Knife and Tool design. That's one of the ones that my brother and I designed, and it is, it's still Todd Knife and Tool, but we've softened everything a little bit so you can get away with it in the office and not freak anybody out. I was going to say, that's definitely the, the gentleman's looking knife for me. Yeah, 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 I mean, that's what I would call it. Absolutely. Still got Suit our, knife. Absolutely, and I'll show you a party trick on that here in just a minute. Okay. We got the three holes in it as usual. Now, on the blade, it's hollow ground and then flat, so... Still got the compound. Yeah, it is a compound grind. However, the edge is continuous. It's, oh, okay, it's, okay. So yeah. it's easy to sharpen. No, right. no freaking out about the sharpening. Right. But the tip is toughened up so that if you sure. need to stick it in something, you're not going to break it. Okay. And some of the party tricks. Okay, We made tr this really thin right here compared to most full-size folders. Okay. And that's so that it locks up relatively quietly. But solid. It sure. is not going to take off on you. Right on. And it unlocks easily. So Very nice. You can deal with it in the office environment and not have a problem. And the other kind of interesting party trick, right here. I designed the clip in a way that whenever you clip it in your suit jacket, your shirt pocket, whatever, and it's light enough to put in the shirt pocket. Uh, it's got it's more just, of that pen look. Yeah. Yeah. It's just an expensive pen. Yeah. Definitely. You know, somebody bought you a titanium pen. That way you don't, you know, freak out your cubicle mates or whatever, or office mates. Right. Right. And that is the Spearfish. And we're looking at titanium and M390 on that one. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, and we did go M390 on that one. I was just, Todd Knife and Tool has this thing. We've done S35 EN for a long time because it's easy to sharpen. Whenever it dulls, it rounds over, and it's easy to bring an edge back to it because we want our people, our customers to be able to use any knife and sharpen the knives. Right. Now, we did go M390 on this one, and it's kind of a nod to that office guy. <laughs> You're not going to be using it as hard as some of no. our other designs. No. So it will just stay sharper longer. 
in between having to send it out for sharpening or sharpening it yourself and uh, shouldn't be being beat into things and whatnot. So right. So you can get away with the harder steel. Excellent. Excellent. Well, Terrell, man, I really appreciate you going through this and kind of giving us a look at what's new and what's coming. I, I really, really appreciate your time. Thank you well, so appreciate, much. Appreciate you stopping by. All and, right. Uh, you guys have a great day. You too. Thank you.